I'm here at the Tour de France with Lotto Soudal, about to go for hopefully what will be a gentle spin. I'm also going to have a chat with Andre Greipel, a.k.a. the Gorilla, and the rest of the boys along the way. Wish me luck. Early on, before the trainer, we've, we've uh, got a technical hitch. Uh, technical. Mr. Hen Henderson is without his nose piece. How important in, in pro racing are nose pieces, Greg? Mate, vital. I don't think you can actually participate in any bike race without a nose piece. And uh, as you can see, it's a dire situation right now. So I'm, I've sent out the search party. I'm looking for my nose piece. If anyone sees it, please return my nose piece. Hashtag Greg's nose piece. <laughs> So we're midway through the ride, Andre. I did a bit of a sprint there. How did I do? I thought I did okay, actually. Should we do it? I'll leave you out, okay? Leave me out. I'll leave you Well, there we go, but I think this lad's got a very bright future. Me for one, I'm done now. See you later. Yeah, it was quite well. Uh, uh, good job there. Uh, but I kind of an effort like this uh, day before the Tour de France is not really in my schedule today. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I didn't go too hard. I didn't want to put you on the limit too much, Andre. But the kind of ride we're on today, the guys are swapping around with TT bikes. You've opted to stay on your road bike. But aside from getting used to the different bikes, how important is it just to just ride and spin the legs and relax ahead of what's going to be very stressful? Yeah, first of all, I think uh, I, it's also a brand new bike uh, and uh, I need to kind of uh, get, to, get to know the bike a bit. So that's why uh, I choose this bike today. Which bike are you on? Interesting. You obviously got the Ridley. Which the, is it the new Noah SL? Yeah, it's a Noah SL. Uh, it's a really aerodynamic bike, uh, really stiff, so uh, I really enjoy to ride on this bike. And uh, yeah, also now I have a different color, so uh, yeah. Of course, we're used to seeing you in the, in the, uh, the national champions colors. I'm sure, that you'll win it. I'm sure you'll win it again in the future, but yeah, it's going to be difficult to recognize you now in the red of Lotto. Yeah, I'm uh, fitting better now in the train, I would say. And uh, yeah, I mean, one day it had to come that I will lose the jersey and uh, yeah, but it's uh, nothing better. And uh, another challenge for the upcoming years to get it back. Good stuff. One last question. I would ask you, who's the funniest, who's the funniest guy in the team to, to ride with and, and to room with? Uh, I think we are, uh, overall, we are a quite funny team. But uh, yeah, I think uh, Marcel Zipek is one of the funniest. He never shuts up. I'm here at the finish of our training ride, happily pointing out the sponsor there, Con Consumer Pro, Adam Hansen, always. Adam, just tell us how important it is, you know, ahead of, ahead of the Tour de France, a little ride like that, just to loosen the legs and just have a chat and, and just enjoy riding, I guess, ahead of all the stress that's to come. Oh, it's um, super important, you know, it's calm before the storm and <clears throat> uh, it's uh, just nice to go out there and relax and not think about racing and going hard and just enjoying riding the bike. Okay, of course, you're now, now correct, correct me if I'm wrong, you've got a special disc wheel knocking about. We'll have a quick pick up of that in a moment. This is your 11th Grand Tour. 12th, 12th. So I know I get it wrong. 12th Grand Tour in a row, yet you're still going strong. How do you do it? Recovery. Yeah, you know, I think it's, um, I, I, I think cyclists overtrain a lot, so um, I have a lot more recovery than the other cyclists. Like, um, I really spend a lot of time off the bike, and I think it's good. I think it's good for the body and mind, and um, it's always good to be hungry going into a race, so um, I think it's um, important. So definitely one tip for all the other cyclists watching this is, is recovery, 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 coffee, cake. Uh, I don't know about the coffee and cake, but that's important. <laughs> but yeah, you don't improve from training, you improve from recovery, so um, keep it up. So here's the wheel. That's right, um, there's a few of them, not all of them, but <laughs> needs updating. It needs, hopefully, I mean, are you going to, is it on your, your schedule for 2015 to ride the Vuelta as well this year, if all goes to plan, of course, in the Tour? Uh, yeah, well, <clears throat> I'll definitely ride the Vuelta. I like it. So, uh, for me, it's one of my favourite Grand Tours. It's definitely in top three. 
So thanks for talking to us and get your feet up and best of luck in the tour. I will. Thank you very much. You might have seen out on the ride today, I uh, did a bit of a sprint against Andre Greipel. Now, I, I didn't want to push it too hard because obviously Andre's got a big week ahead of him. How did you think I, I performed on, on the sprint? Uh, I think uh, you did quite good because uh, when you pass Andre, it's not good for, for his morale for, for Sunday. So I think it was good that you took it a bit easy. Thanks very much. It's a ringing endorsement of my sprinting ability. Hey, did it? <laughs> yeah, I'm maybe the next one. I need more of a heads up, I'll be straight on as well. <laughs> no. Well, there we go. 75 hot but rather enjoyable kilometres in the bag with really good bunch of chaps. Thanks, Lotto Sudal. But anyway, for more Tour de France content, how about you click just up there. And for my little interview with one of the favourites for this year's tour, Alberto Contador, click just down there. And to subscribe to GCN, remember, it's absolutely free. How about clicking on the Lotto Sudal team bus? Just there.